Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back, of course, to the Time Bomb channel, and I hope all is good in your part of the world. Watch review of the Armitron Pro Sport 40 slash 8159. This is the first uh, Armitron uh, that I've had on the channel, and it's a brand that I've known about for ages and ages, but I've never gotten around to buying one. Um, there's a lack of pretentiousness about the brand that I like a lot. Um, you know, you look at the box, the packaging, it's, uh, it's pretty basic. <laughs> um, but they're making very affordable watches, um, I think, for people who don't need, excuse me, who don't need external gratification. So perhaps these are not um, in any way your echo chamber watches. Um, Armatron, perhaps not really. Sorry, this is a bit noisy. One second. Armitron perhaps not really taken off here in the UK um, because they are growing a little bit, but sadly we're pretty much only able to get these through Amazon or eBay. So I can't see what I'm doing again. That's it. Yeah, let's get rid of that and then you can see your watch. Um, as I say, Amazon or eBay um, only places at the moment where we can get them. Hopefully there's a dealer here in the UK that might pick them up uh, so that more people can uh, can get hold of these. This one retails for around £20 um, just in the UK. Um, as you can see in my hands, it's quite a quite a big beastie. It's around 50 mils um, across. Um, without the strap, it's around 14 uh, mils deep. The north to south uh, measurement on these probably doesn't make a huge amount of sense uh, because of those very sporty, robust uh, fixed lugs um, more on those in a minute and on this uh, um, OEM strap it weighs in around 70 grams just so very very easy to wear um, you do get an acrylic crystal up top and it's got some slight uh, protections from those those um, uh, compass points um, but not a huge uh, amount so it just sits, yeah, as you can see, just under that bezel a little bit. Um, but yeah, not massive amounts of protection for that uh, for that acrylic. Um, notice as well, um, let me zoom in just a little bit more. Notice as well the uh, the fun fact, the water watery goodness. They have shunned um, the metric system and remained old school with the 330. And just for reference for the uh, youngsters out there, that's around 100 metres worth of watery goodness. I mean, looking at the watch, you can easily see there's some uh, Sunto uh, vector going on here. And, you know, you sort of look at the um, Armitron uh, collection and you can perhaps think that back in the 80s, um, Casio may have taken a few design cues from Armitron as the digital age took off. But I think sadly now it's the other way around with too many of the Armitrons looking, you know, like clone Casios. Um and, but I think whilst the, they, they are emulating um, other designs, the one thing that they're not doing is going full Invicta. I think some of the modern uh, releases, you know, just a little bit different to those uh, standard digis. Um, back to this one then. Uh, so buttons on here. So we've got our mode button uh, just down at the eight. And those uh, big, comfortable buttons that, as you can see, are super effective and don't require multiple presses at all. Um, so obviously chrono, stopwatch, uh, data would be then your, your previous runs on your chrono. Back to uh, timer um, up here, uh, alarm settings, etc. And then uh, dual time as well. And then obviously when you click back on time, it just reverts back here. Um... It does come with a chrono bezel uh, that the uh, eagle eyes amongst you will have spotted. And I can't really find a function for that one, so I'm suggesting that it's a tad uh, of a gimmick. Um, the, <laughs> the, uh, the digital, um, the, the digits on the, sorry, the, the dial and um, etc. I think is very, very clear. Um, the digi digits um, are super clear and easy to see from a distance, but they do suffer from tilt angle distortion quite quickly. And I hope that's something that they can improve on because it's exactly, uh, it, it gets worse exactly where you need it. For example, um, from the side, uh, the, tilt, the tilt angle, almost, you know, it, it doesn't exist. You know, it's super, super clear. However, when you get it around to the front, and that's exactly where you're going to be looking at it from, you, you tilt it just down here and you can see that it really, really gets itself into a mess really very, very quickly indeed, which is a little bit odd. 
I'm wondering whether it's the you know the the acrylic that's causing that issue or something else. But as I say, from the side, doesn't impact at all. You get it down from the north to south, and it gets yeah, as I say, messy quite quickly. Um, the it does come with a light, which is then sorry again, I can't see, uh, which is um, just pressed um, down down here. I mean, obviously, I'll throw some dark shots of, of that one. So it's it's a little bit more of your Timex than the corner bulb you find in a Casio. But again, super fit for purpose, no issues at all with that one. Um, an odd detail to note, let me zoom out a fraction so we can see it more clearly, is the uh, the decision to use these uh, the straps with the lugs. Um, essentially, you're going to need to, I mean, imagine if these unscrew, yes, they can, but that's fine. But then uh, the other question is how <laughs> you're going to have to cut the strap in order to get it off and then how do you get your new strap on because obviously these things are are stitched in um, they don't release nothing else opens so again a really poor decision so i mean i'm guessing what they're thinking is that you wear this until it falls apart and then you simply uh, replace the whole thing or unless of course you can find replacements where you unscrew this and the strap and everything just then replaces onto it i've not seen any of those possibly because it's a slightly older model and again if you do know um you know what the situation is with those please do drop me a comment down here but i'm thinking that they realized that it was an error because none of their, their post releases after this one you know feature this and and it just seems to be a little bit odd that you would replace the lugs and the strap um in one go rather than just replacing the strap anyway um the strap, though, I think is surprisingly comfortable and flexible. I've I've looked at some uh, Timex equivalents of these, and I found them to be a little bit too plasticky and stiff. Let me just throw it on wrist for you. Uh, this one, on the con on the contrary, is quite soft and comfortable. Um, yeah, it holds the watch very very well in place. Um, sorry, it's not. I've not. I've done that too quickly. Yeah, it works absolutely fine. It's comfortable um it's probably going to get a bit 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 smelly when you get very very sweaty in this but other than that you know sports watch i think yeah it works absolutely fine um so yeah the, the, the concept of the strap is great i think the thing where they've gone wrong is just with the uh the lugs um i think what they do best perhaps as well is the is the the vintage inspired digitals um, I will try to get one of those in for review because, yes, I know that Boulevard and Hamilton have theirs, but the price makes them a little bit too spendy for my uh, limited budget. Um, I think I'd like to see from the brand as well, then come up with some solar digitals. I think that would complement the range really very well indeed. But in conclusion, I think that the Pro Sport is a very fun, budget-friendly digital watch. Uh, but don't expect these to be, for example, your Mudmasters or your or your Rangemans, etc. Um, they're not supposed to be. But if you do need to change up from wearing wearing Casios, um, you know, all day, every day, then I think you know they are indeed a fun a fun change and something a little bit different. Anyway, look forward to hearing your thoughts and views on this one, guys. Massive thanks for your time and for your view. I know we've got a huge load of new subscribers recently, and I haven't thanked everyone enough for joining the channel. Really, really do appreciate the support. Um, and yeah, we'll catch you all in the next video. Cheers, guys.